Happy Holidays Yoga Friends! Welcome to My Mat My World. Please join me for a yoga sequence. If you would meet me on the mat and find a shoulder bridge. So bring the glutes close to the heels, roll back, push the belly up to the sky and release. And if you like, take your fingertips overhead Push the belly up, bringing the hands toward the hips. And then moving the arms to T, letting the knees roll to one side for twists. When you're ready, release, bringing the knees in, rolling up for boat pose and holding. And release, widening the legs and finding straddle, pushing to the center. And release, moving to the shoulder bridge once again. We are moving through a little bit of a flow here. Push the belly up, bringing it down. Crossing one ankle to knee, pushing up and coming down. Let's do that one more time. And release, crossing other ankle to knee, pressing up two times. And release, both the feet to the floor, press the belly up. And release, widening the feet on the mat, moving the arms to T, let the knees roll to the side. So you have wide feet, the knees will be wide. You'll really feel the stretch on the top hip. And when you're ready, releasing the other side, we'll do this another time. Moving to neutral, bring the knees in, coming up for boat pose. If you like, you can leave your hands right back here. If you want to, try to straighten the legs. If you like, go ahead and make that full boat pose. If you like, make the let arms and legs parallel. And release, coming to that straddle. And we are leaning to the side, so just push the hand down toward the foot. And then open up, looking back toward the up hand. And releasing, moving to the other side. Moving to center, stretching forward. And release, shoulder bridge again. Pressing the belly up and release when you're ready. Take one foot to the sky and press up again and down, other side. Actually, let's do that twice and coming down. Now let's switch to the other side, pressing up, come down. Both feet on the floor, pressing the belly up. And release. When you're ready, walk the feet out a little bit, away from the glutes, and roll to the side. It's going to feel a little different stretch. It's going to feel a little more like it's down here in the lower back. And release, other side. Both sides twisting. Mm. 
Moving to neutral, bring the knees in. Coming up for boat pose. And if you like, tap down, up and down. Release to straddle. And from here to the center. Release, bring the hands back. One hand in the center, one hand back. Twisting open, looking back as far as you can. And then lean toward that long leg, same side. Releasing the pose, coming up. Stretch and twist the other direction. Push down and kind of push into the floor and open your twist a little bit more. Release, leaning toward that leg. Nose toward the knee, whatever you can do right here. And release, moving to center. Coming up, we are moving to our side and coming into a forward fold. slightly bent. Shake your head no. Feel the stretch down the back of the legs. If you can straighten the knees a little bit more, you can absolutely do that or paddle your knees a little bit. So straightening and bending. We are moving to half split. So let's walk the hands out a little bit, softening the knees and move the left leg to the sky. Now, if your split is a little bigger than mine, you can back the hands up and move the foot closer to the sky. Release that foot for warrior two. Coming up. So our knee is over the ankle, the back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Side angle pose, so lean over your front knee. If you can, we are looking to the sky. But if you feel like you don't have balance, then you're going to look to the floor or to the side. What works for you? What's best for you? We are coming to lunge. So take the hands down, coming into lunge, toes pointing the same direction. Moving the feet together. Coming into forward fold. This time the right leg moves to the sky for a half split. Now if you want to challenge yourself a little bit, you can take one hand off the floor or you can take both hands off the floor. Maybe no hands off the floor. And then moving to warrior two. So place that foot and open it up. This is my right foot is back this time. Side angle pose. And moving to lunge. Take the toes the same direction. If you like, you can add a twist right here if you want to. Step the back foot forward. Ready for the half split. Left foot up. As we get a little loosened up, you may feel like you're going a little higher into the sky. Let's place that foot for warrior two. Ooh. Supposed to be a little more graceful than that. Side angle pose. And moving to lunge. Stepping it forward. Half split. Place the foot, warrior two. I hope you can hear my Christmas music in the background. Side angle pose. Changing to a lunge. Stepping forward. 
left foot up. Warrior. <laughs> All fun until somebody falls over and does a face plant, right? Supposed to get a little more balanced as we work through. I'm sure not. I'm even more wiggly than when we started. Stepping forward. We're going through one more time. So whenever you're ready. Moving to plank, so place that foot back. Holding right here for just a moment. Remember that our glutes are up a little bit, so we're not hanging down here, our glutes are up. Moving to down dog, so push the glutes up into the sky. Your knees may be a little soft here. Readjust that down dog, soften the knees, push the glutes to the sky if you need to, paddle your heels a little bit and we are moving to cobra or up dog so you can come back to plank if you like and taking the belly toward the floor for up dog or you can come down for cobra your choice release all the way to the floor and move to locust so hands move back and feet and hands move up release Find child's pose. Little tiny stretch for the back. Moving into plank. If you need to, keep a knee plank. Your choice. Moving to down dog. And cobra or up dog. If you want, you can swoop through. Taking the belly down and moving to locust. Coming down, child's pose. When you're ready, plank. And if you wanted to, you could do an elbow plank. Down dog. Cobra. Way down, finding locus. Release, child's pose. Take a little rest right here. Maybe wiggle your hips left and right just a little tiny bit. Coming to hands and knees or fists and knees for cat cow. Pressing up, exhale, and inhale down.
Coming to forward fold. I'm going to move up the mat just a little bit. From forward fold, soften the knees and move right into chair pose. So you should be able to see your toes. Your glutes are back and we move to tree. So if you like, keeping your hands up. Now my left foot is up. I'm going to place it back for warrior one. So that back foot's going to be at a 45 degree angle. My front toes are pointed forward. My knee is over the ankle. Straightening your front leg, moving to pyramid. Hands can be wherever feels good for you. Uh, skier's pose is where I prefer because it's a little easier, but you are definitely, you can take them to airplane or a lever type pose. Release, finding forward fold, moving to chair, tree, right foot comes up. Place that right foot behind for warrior one. 45 degree toes, knee forward in the front, hips are forward, looking toward the top of the wall, moving to pyramid. Straighten your front leg. If you like, you can take that pyramid all the way to the knee. Just what feels good for you today? And release forward fold. Soften it up right here, knees are soft. Soften the knees again, coming up for chair. Chair can be as deep as you like. Left foot for tree, and if you want to, you can bring those hands to heart. Five-pointed star. Forward fold. And turning the feet for a low crescent. So let's go with the right foot forward if you like. Place the left knee down and bring it up.
Bring those hands down. Uh, bring that front foot back a little bit and place the glutes on the floor, coming into a half hero. So the back foot, the heel came in close to the glutes, and the front foot moved toward the inner thigh. Go ahead and twist, and it doesn't really matter which way you want to twist. I like to twist toward my back foot, so the one that's toward my glute. And release, now stretching over the front knee. Down as far as you can. And release the pose. We are moving to that five-pointed star. And we will move everything to the other side. So widen those feet, coming up. And forward fold. Turning the toes the other direction. My left foot is my lead foot coming into a crescent. Bringing the hands down. Start to move those front toes back, coming to the glute. Making your twist toward the back foot, the foot toward the glutes. And release. up to that straddle forward fold. And you may roll up if you like with a couple shoulder rolls, moving to five pointed star. Forward fold again. This time we are leaving the left hand on the floor and taking the right hand to the sky. And moving to a crescent, so my right knee will be forward. Left knee moves down, taking it up. Moving the hands down, move to your half hero. Take your time, kind of takes a second to scoot that foot around. star. Another forward fold. This time the right hand is down, the left hand moves up for the twist. Turning the toes for low crescent. My left toes are forward. hero and twist release and stretch walking the hands back coming into a neutral pose. That could be crisscross, it could be um, feet down the mat, whatever's comfortable for you. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, side lean. Inhaling up. And exhale, side lean. Inhaling up. Exhale, the hands behind, opening the chest. Inhaling up, exhaling the hands forward, pushing away, going as far down as we can, feeling the stretch in our hips. Inhaling up, and exhale, twist. 
Inhaling up. Exhaling, twist. Your last inhale all the way up. And bring those hands to the heart center. Thank you for joining me today, friends. Have a great holiday season. Namaste.